Hi, it's good to see you again. I want to share some thoughts with you. Some people might be asking, you know, where is God in this situation that we're in at the moment? Maybe some of those people asking that question are not yet a believer. Um, they might be asking, why has God allowed this to happen? And I would want to start with the question, what kind of God is God? Who is the God that we're talking about? You see, people have a tendency to create a God in their own image, but they can end up with a caricature of the true God. People tend to feel that God is unfair or he's out to spoil their fun or even cause something bad to happen to them. Sometimes they're quick to blame him. If something negative happens, even though they do not believe in God, when things are going quite well. You know, there's a lot of misinformation about God. And we can have the idea of the kind of God that he is, and we need to think carefully where we have got this information from. For us as Christians, we can turn to the Bible. And I believe that the Bible is the true record of God's dealings with the human race. It's historically reliable and its contents are accurate and that they've been recorded and copied down carefully down the centuries. There are many things that we can say to people about the God of the Bible. Firstly, and the foundational thing, is that God is the creator of everything. We know that out of his goodness he chose to create the universe. He created planet Earth and everything on it. Every inanimate thing, every plant and animal and all the humans. We also know from the Bible that God is the sustainer of everything. This means that he is actively involved in its processes, the laws that govern the movements of the earth. The chemistry, the biology and the physics involved in maintaining a planet. As well as all the intricate systems with their mathematical genius that are put there by God. And maintained by him. The Bible tells us that God has a plan for this planet, a good plan. And this plan is that firstly human beings should acknowledge that God is the God of the whole earth and then offer him the due reverence and respect that he deserves. There is obviously a lack of cooperation between humans and the God that gave them life. This originally started through a catastrophic event known as the Fall. Humans were designed to reach their potential within the context of a loving and cooperative friendship with God who is the giver of true freedom. And the first people chose to pursue freedom and independence outside of the circle of friendship with God. And throughout history, and in spite of God's continuing goodness toward the human race, the various nations and cultures have generally ignored him and tried to make a way of life in spiritual ignorance and independence from God. Nevertheless, God's plan throughout history has been to bring about restoration between people and their God. We see this in the Old Testament. God chose a man through whom he would bring descendants that would form a nation, ancient Israel. They were to be a model of life, lived in harmony with the God of heaven. The nation though failed to stay loyal despite God's patience and God's continual appeals to them to return to him. But in order to achieve the rescue of the human race from final destruction, God came into his own world in the form of a man who was called Jesus Christ. He showed very clearly that God is a loving father and that he desires people to be reconciled with him. And this is the reason that Jesus Christ died on a Roman cross in ancient Israel. It was to take the punishment that we deserve because of our sins. It was to pay the price that he, we could not pay. 
to achieve our salvation. It was to remove the righteous anger of God and reconcile people with him. This reconciliation comes about through rejecting this independence of God, recognising the waywardness and repenting and putting faith in the Son of God, Jesus, who is the only hope for lasting salvation. Not an effort to change our ways, but a radical transformation of the inner person and the creation of new communities around the world with Jesus at the centre. We know, according to the Bible, that God is a sovereign God. This means that he's in control of world events. This means that he works through providence, whatever happens, whether good or bad. God remains in control. And our problem is that we don't always understand God's ways. In this life, we know that bad things happen. Things in our world have become dysfunctional and harmful to people. Originally, God's intention was that there would be such an equilibrium in the creation across the whole environment, including the physical planet, the seasons and the forces of nature. And this has changed dramatically as a consequence of the fall of humans. This being so, we still enjoy a great measure of peace and tranquillity and God is able to minimise the harmful effects of the fall. And through prayer, God can act to help us in our troubles and in our sicknesses. I can't explain why this current crisis is happening, but I do know that our culture around the world has persistently defied the laws of God and chosen a different path away from his plan for humanity. But in these times, there may be an awakening amongst many people, as the foundations upon which we have built our culture are not all good. In fact, there are serious consequences when a culture turns its back on God. We may forfeit the right to his restraining work, which protects our nations. If we give him no recognition and respect, then how can we insist that he gives us his blessing? If we don't even believe that he is there, then why be so surprised when our world goes wrong? Sometimes it takes a shock in life before people will stop and think and look carefully at the meaning of their lives and at what they've made a priority. When their world comes tumbling down, there is a way back. There is someone they can turn to. And we have a great message of a God who can rescue and save. A God who will welcome home those who have ignored him if they turn and believe in him. We have an opportunity to share this amazing message of the one who is the way back to God.